To enable two-factor authentication on Zoom, sign into your Zoom account in a browser. Regardless of whether you're doing this on a mobile phone or a laptop or desktop, you do need to use a browser. I don't think the 2FA settings are available in Zoom's mobile app. Once logged in, you'll arrive on this page, but if you don't, click on your profile icon in the top right corner of the screen, followed by your name. We then want to scroll down to our sign-in options, and here, opposite two-factor authentication, click on Turn On. You'll be asked to enter your Zoom account password, and then we have the option to either set up 2FA using an app or using an SMS code. If you don't use a 2FA app, then go ahead and just choose the SMS option. But for all of my 2FA codes, I use Authy, and I'll link to a video explaining how to install and use Authy if you're interested in watching that. Click on Setup, and we're again asked to enter our Zoom password, after which, we're provided with a QR code to scan using our 2FA app. If you use a 2FA app, then this QR code will be very familiar to you. Authy, Google, Microsoft Authenticator, they all have the option to add a new account by scanning a QR code. Scan the code and then to finish up in Authy, it's just a matter of providing a name for the new account. Back in Zoom to complete the process, enter the six digit code that appears in the Authy app. Once entered, click Verify, and all being well, you'll be presented with these backup codes that you can use to access your Zoom account should you ever have problems getting into your Turfay app. It's a good idea to save these and keep them somewhere safe. You'll also receive an email confirming that 2FA is now enabled, and the next time you log into Zoom, you'll be asked for your six-digit 2FA code, or if you chose the SMS option, you'll receive the code via text message. The same goes for using the mobile app. You'll probably already be logged in, but if you log out and log back in, you'll be prompted for your 2FA code. So that is how to set up two-factor authentication on your Zoom account. If you missed my video demonstrating how to do the same thing on your Facebook account, then you might be interested in watching this. To enable two-factor authentication or 2FA, log into Facebook either on your computer or your mobile phone. I'll demonstrate the process first on desktop and then we'll switch over to mobile. As always, links to skip ahead are in the description below. Having logged in, click on the drop down menu icon and choose settings and privacy, followed by settings. Over in the left hand menu, choose security and logins, scroll down to two factor authentication and click on the edit button. You now have three options. If you don't use a 2FA app such as Authy, Google or Microsoft Authenticator, then your best bet is to set up 2FA using SMS. This means you'll receive a code via SMS each time you log in. This is the least secure method of implementing 2FA because getting access to your SIM card or porting your telephone number is a lot easier than unlocking your phone and getting access to a 2FA app or using a physical security key. Using a physical security key, which is similar to a USB thumb drive, is considered the most secure method, but it's not always practical. So as you can see, the recommended method is to use an app. Having clicked on the app, we're given the usual option to either scan a barcode or enter the key manually. I use Authy, but regardless of which two-factor authentication app you use, You'll have similar options to this, where you can choose between activating the camera in your phone to scan a QR code or entering the code manually. Having scanned the code in Authy, I simply need to give my new 2FA account a name, then back on Facebook, if I click continue, I then need to enter the code displayed in the Authy app to synchronize my new account. It's a similar process on mobile. Log into your Facebook mobile app, Click on menu in the bottom right corner of the page and scroll all the way down to settings and privacy. Choose settings and again scroll down to security and choose security and logins. Halfway down the page we have our two-factor authentication options. I'll choose two-factor authentication and as with the desktop setup we have three options. As before I'll choose to use an app and click continue. Now here is where the process differs slightly. If like me, you're using the 2FA app on the same phone you're logging into Facebook, you can't scan the QR code. So instead, we'll copy the code shown here and paste it into our 2FA app. Back in Authy, I'll choose the option to enter the key manually. 
Having done that, it's exactly the same process as before. I'll give my new 2FA account a name and enter the PIN shown in Authy into Facebook to finish the process. If I now log out of Facebook and back in again, having entered my credentials, you can see I'm also prompted to enter my 2FA code. Having set up two-factor authentication, it's a good idea to download a copy of your recovery codes and save them somewhere safe. These codes ensure you can still access your Facebook account should you ever lose access to your 2FA app. You can also access them on your mobile phone from the same menu where we set up 2FA. Finally, it's a good idea to log out of Facebook on all your devices. Over time, you can build up quite an extensive list of devices where you've logged into. In the mobile app, you can see where you're logged in here. And you can log out by choosing see all and clicking on the three dots next to each login. Visit the website for lots more tips on Zoom, Facebook, and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.